All right, folks, today we're taking a look at the MFJ 1919 EX extendable mast. So let's check it out today on K5ATA Caffeinated Radio. All right, folks, so we get started, if you would, hit that like, hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when we have new content. Um, also, there's some links down below if you want to help support the Padawans. Pretty much everything that comes into my channel goes back out to support getting youth on the air, and I call them my Padawans. Um, so, you know, there's a Patreon link below, there's an Amazon affiliate link. doesn't cost you anything extra, but it kind of helps out the, the kiddos. Um... So feel free to help us that way. Or if you just have an old radio or something, radio gear sitting around that you're not using, I know a kid who can use it. So you can, you know, send that to me if you like as well. And we would be very grateful for that. So let's check this thing out. Okay, so when you get your MFJ 1919 um, extendable mast, you obviously get this, which is already pre-assembled. All of the sections are in here. And then you get a bag of clamps. So basically all there is to this is you set it out, go ahead and extend the leg so it's relatively stable. And we're gonna install the clamps really quick. All right, and here we have the clamps on there. And these work, you just slide it on and it's it's painfully obvious which one goes where because they only fit in one spot. Oops, let me get that focused. So you tighten it on with this and then this is just a little clamp here and you can see it slides freely up and down until you clamp that close and it's got a little screw in there so you can adjust just how tight you want it um, you want it tight enough obviously that it's not going to come come down but not so tight that you're going to crush the I guess that's fiberglass or whatever that pole is all right and here we have it deployed with the cam 4 ACK and fit half wave you can see it comes down to my fishing rod holder and that works like a champ. It is light enough that you can pick it up and move it while it's up if it's not a heavy load on top of it. So, you know, if you need to adjust it a little bit um, it breaks down extremely quickly and folds up to just over or collapses to just over five feet. So the base actually extends out to be quite wide. So we may, may not need much guying, maybe if it's windy or something like that, but we're going to give that a shot when we activate a park next weekend. But overall, I'm going to say I like it. I like the portability of it. These clamps, they went on nice and easily. Um, you can adjust how tight, like this one's a little loose right now, just with that screw. Okay, and like I said, it collapses down to, I guess it's about five feet, um, which is nice because it fits, pardon the mess, but that's my pass-through storage on the camper. It just slides right in there and fits really well. Okay, so something to take note of. This is the smallest of the or the thinnest of the fiberglass poles. You can see it does have some flex to it, but it's not much. Um, it says it'll hold 15 pounds when fully extended. And we're gonna try that out next time we activate a park. All right, so overall, I'm gonna say I'm looking forward to using this. It seems to be a stable tripod. The mast is, you know, nice and firm. It's not, not too floppy in the wind, I guess. Um, I think they're 179 bucks on MFJ's website. Um, like I said, I did have to, I just put a little hose clamp at the top here. And I, I did that just for attaching like the NFED half wave and stuff too. You can come up with whatever way you want to. And I hung my ICOM dude there just cause he's cool. All right, so overall, not a bad deal. I'm, I'm gonna give it a go and Watch for that follow-up video with that vertical on there, and we'll see how it goes. So y'all take care, and we hope to see you on the air. 7-3.